Bleed black and gold, buff forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know, T Green, and I'm back with another one. Now, when I first start talking about this nickel defense or changing the defense to a, you know, a 425 or a 335, basically a nickel defense, I got a lot of heat on Reddit and Twitter about that. Oh, Green, you don't know what you're talking about. These players not moving here. These players not moving there. This is going to be our safety. This is going to be our cornerbacks. Blah, 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 blah. And I kept telling everybody, I said, listen. Robert Livingston gonna have a few tricks up his sleeve and he's gonna change a lot of things from how Kelly was running it when he was the uh, defensive coordinator. But no, 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 y'all thought I had this wrong. So y'all got to give me credit on this one because it has been revealed y'all by Coach Mathis y'all that Travis Hunter will be playing the nickelback and the nickel defense, y'all. So this man can do anything. He's on offense. He could play the cornerback position. Now he could play the nickel back position on defense. What can this man not do? And according to uh, Coach Mathis, they said this, y'all. He's been playing the majority inside, and when we can have him do that and be strong, and outside with Preston Hodge and DJ McKinney, it's going to be a sight to see. And we're excited about that. This is what Coach Mathis said, y'all. Listen, y'all. Travis Hunter will be at the nickelback position. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This is going to be exciting. And I spoke on Preston Hodge being at the safety and sometimes dropping down at the cornerback position. Now, I know a lot of people was getting on me talking about, nah, Shiloh going to be back there. And duh, we know Shiloh going to be back there. And, of course, Cameron Simmer and Craig is going to be back there. But at the end of the day, a lot of people are moving around, y'all. And remember, you know, Hunter was that dude last year on offense and defense. We don't even need to go into all of that. But like Coach Mathis says, there's not going to be a lot of players like Hunter that comes around. This is what Coach Mathis said. He's able to get in there naturally at the nickel and just play well. And he's able to go in if we need him in the B gap to help to stop the run. As you've seen a couple times today, he was able to fill the B gap. A lot of nickels really don't want to do that, but he's able to do that. Ooh, that is big because that means when that run game come, he able to hit that B gap. And Travis Hunter is not scared. A lot of guys like Coach Matthew say, they shy away from that. You know, they like, oh, man, I got to get in the trenches with these dudes who, you know what I mean? They're a bunch of hamburger patties. So you get in there slacking, you going to get dealt with accordingly. But not Travis Hunter. He's skillful enough. He knows the game of football. He knows how to protect himself. And he's not afraid to go up in there and lay the hammer on somebody and that's what we need and for those who don't know what the nickel back you know position do real briefly real briefly if you look here on the screen here right the nickel back he have to cover those fast slot receivers you know what i mean those guys like who gonna get out there and they running four threes and four fours and four fives and they just quick and shifty you know what i mean in the big 12 a lot of these dudes pretty much their best players Line up at the slot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those days are long gone where I'm going to put you far out wide and you're going to just try to Randy Moss somebody. No, 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 no. These dogs at the collegiate level are too skillful for that. They're too fast for that. They're too big for that. So what they do is they put these guys in that slot position and <laughs> may the best man win. And a lot of times that responsibility falls on the nickel back to cover the slot receiver, right? So with that being said, Hey, who else better than Travis Hunter? And even Coach Matthew said that. He said this, y'all. He said, the best receivers are no longer on the outside. So with him having the ability to go inside and us not lose a step on the outside, it's going to be really good for us. If we could match up and be able to take away their best guy by putting Travis on him, on the inside or if he's on the outside it's going to be really good for us being that he's able to really adjust like that for us come on y'all come on now i've been calling good money i said this 
probably what's gonna happen. A lot of y'all start saying, nah, Green, you got it wrong. We may run a full full. Nah, y'all go back in the videos. I said, hey, coming into this year, Robert Livingston probably gonna be running what he ran in the NFL, y'all. We gonna be in this specialized nickel defense running a 4-2-5 with four linemen down, two linebackers and five defensive backs. Or we may run a 3-3-5, you know, with three linemen down, three linebackers and five defensive backs. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see. And I said this long ago, remember, this defense has to change from how Coach Kelly was running. And not that Coach Kelly was doing anything wrong. You got to understand, now we have some dogs in place. Now that we got these dogs in place, whoo, whoo, it's going to be a sight to see. And also, um, it's been stated that we happy with the two newcomers, Hodge, who transferred from Liberty, which we know, and McKinney, who came from Oklahoma State. This defense is going to be locked down. You know what I mean? And Coach Matthews said those new guys are adjusting well. We got a good group in the back end. We're real multiple back there. You know what I mean? We got dogs everywhere, and we got a dog for a dog. So if one dog is out, we got another one to come back in. And that's what I like to see. So he said, I think this is going to be really good, and I'm excited to see these guys come together and jail and perform. So, and just like I told you, y'all, Amari uh, Cooper, you know what I mean, who started last year, you know what I mean, big dog, you know what I mean, he was tied with Hunter, you know, who led with five pass breakups. He has now moved to the safety position. And when I said that uh, the other day, I think on the video, I had a few people come in the comment section was like, Green, you don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> Hello, what did I tell you what's finna happen, y'all? Come on, man, you see this in practice. You just got to pay attention. See, a lot of y'all looking for the drama and the entertainment when y'all be watching Bucket videos or the pregame videos or the behind the scenes. No, what I be looking for is numbers. Who in the game? Who, who, who in, I mean, the practice game, not the real game, but who is on the field with the number one group, you know what I mean, and the number two groups. How's these rotations coming in? So you could kind of get a broader idea of who is going to be in the game. And I told y'all, Amarion Cooper is going to be moving back to that safety position. Hey, he understands that if I have to make a sacrifice for the greater good of the team, you know what I mean? And this is what Coach Matthew said about that for those who thought I was just joking around. He said, we asked Coop to change positions this year, and he's really stepped up to the challenge of playing more safety, coming down, covering tight ends. This is what Matthew said, right? That's his strength with the defense that we have put in. He understands what we need from him, and he's doing a good job. He's a leader back Back there. His role is going to be reduced than it was last year, but he stepped up and understand his role in this defense, and he's going to be a key guy for us. <laughs> Enough said, y'all. I told y'all this because you got to understand, we have a lot of dogs, you know what I mean? And if we could put all these puzzle pieces together and everybody jail well, the better for us, man. We're trying to go to the next level. And see, Cooper understands, hey, you know, I'm a senior. Yeah, I want to be here. I want to be there. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to go to that next level. Let me show you that I'm a value. I'm a great asset. I could also be at cornerback. I could also be at the safety position. You know, I'm a dual threat. Now, speaking on sophomore Kamarni McClain, they said he's still at the corner position. Now, he's been out most of the spring, as we know, but according to Coach Mathis, he has returned yesterday, Thursday. So he got to get some conditioning in. From what we've been hearing, he's a little, you know, out of shape, but that's fine. He just got to get back in shape. And Coach Mathis said this. Once he does that, once he finished running, he'll be back on the football field. So if we can have Kamarni out there, DJ McKinney, Preston Hodge, you know what I mean, Amarion Cooper, you know, <laughs> Travis Hunter, I mean, oh my God, Shiloh, Summerman Craig, I mean, the list just go on and on and 
own because we got those dudes, you know. And let's not forget Cardia Stardemar, you know what I mean, and safety of uh, 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 Jaden Jones. You know, they've been out with injuries. I know, I know. But like we say, we eager to get uh, uh, especially um, uh, Stardemar back in the midst at that corner position. But like I say, these guys keep dealing with little knick knack patty wax, give a dog a bone, you know what I mean? These little injuries that just kind of sidelining them a little bit. But like I say, uh, Stardemar is that dude. He's uh, And Coach Matthews said he's going to be another guy that we think can play all three positions. We put him out at corner. He's been working a lot of the nickel, but he can also go back and play safety. So just like I told you a moment ago, a lot of these guys are dual threats, in some cases triple threats. So, <laughs> and now we got War Sap teaching those those beef patty of the dogs up front i mean oh my gosh man this this thing here is gonna be really nice to see i am excited y'all because i tell you this defense is coming together as well as the offense and man this is gonna be a sight to see i promise you this year will be different you already know the motto you already know the motto man another day above ground is what truly a blessing like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. I'm going to be right back with another one.